Today we have Wilka Nascimento. Wilka will show us the ropes on how to build a personal brand on LinkedIn. What good is a brand if it doesn't have you in it? Wilka will show us when to post, how to post, and how to increase your followers. All this and more on this episode of The Hotel Insider. This episode was brought to you by co-hosts. Hello? Hey Bruce, it's Wilka. What's up, Wilka? I'm here early. I can't get in the room. Yeah, I'm I'm still at the restaurant. I'm like two hours away from you. What? Oh my god, you are two hours away? I can't wait for it that long. Can I just go to the front desk and get a key to the room? No, you can't go to the front desk and check in because your name is on a reservation. Just go to the hotel room door. Are you in front of the door? Yes, I'm in front of the door. Okay. Wait one second. With co-hosts, a guest will be able to open their room door from anywhere. So your front desk won't have to worry about having an angry, unregistered guest trying to get in the room. The door should be unlocked by now. Thank you, Bruce. You saved my life. Give your hotel the power the power of co-hosts. Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. It is Bruce Jordan and you thank you for tuning into the MJ of Hotels with your host Bruce Jordan and the MJ of Hotels. Today I got Wilka. What's going on, girl? How are you, Bruce? Thank you so much for having me here with you today. Anytime, anytime. As you already know, I think everybody has pretty much seen Wilka on uh, all over LinkedIn, all over LinkedIn. She makes amazing videos. She posts amazing content. And today she's going to teach us all about how to develop your personal brand on LinkedIn. How many followers do you have now? I'm gearing up for like a 10,000, just Ooh. maybe like 900, uh, 9,200, something like that. <laughs> now, LinkedIn is actually one of my weaknesses. Like I, I, on YouTube, I'm the man. <laughs> okay. But on LinkedIn, I'm a... Uh, I'm half the man. <laughs> so, so any tips you can give us on uh, getting LinkedIn uh, up and running and building our personal brand uh, will, will definitely help us out in, in the long run. Of course, of course. Now, you also have your own podcast. Yes, I have uh, the Leadership Talks podcast. Um, that was a project that I started um, last year throughout the pandemic. Um, and it was a way for me to express um, what I was going through working at the hotels and also to have an exchange of insights of other leaders in the industry. So that's how the podcast started. Nice, nice. So tip number one, what is the first thing like, cause LinkedIn, they ask you a whole bunch of questions you know, um, you have a bunch of connections, but you don't know who to connect to, how to connect to them, what to say. Like, what are some of the things that you do when you first build your uh, your profile on LinkedIn? Um, Bruce, that's a great question. And I think people, uh, first and foremost, you have to have a nice professional headshot. That's number one. And then number two, your intro, right? Your little bio and tell your experience, um, what you like to do, what is your interest, um, and then just basically keep at it every day. You know, that's how I built uh, the follow. And uh, basically, you know, I love uh, LinkedIn. I think it's an amazing um, platform. Like, I don't like to say social media, but it is yeah. right um, for us in the professional world. But I also started um, developing a lot of uh, connections like yourself. Oh, yes, yes, right. we reconnect on our weekend, that's right. Yeah, so it's very exciting because you can meet people from all over the world. And um, I believe I really have to maintain relationships because, you know, hotel folks, we are working in New York one day, the next day you're in California. Yeah. So how do you keep those connections alive? You know, you're there on LinkedIn posting and sharing with people what is your day to day is going and so forth. Absolutely. Absolutely. One thing I did notice is that you you definitely post a lot of videos. And for most people, they're a little shy. You know, they don't have that 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 resilience and confidence 
that you have. So like, how do you get started with, with posting videos on LinkedIn? Yeah, that's a great question. And actually, I'm so envious of you too from the YouTube. <laughs> 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 because I've tried uh, to share um, some of my LinkedIn videos on YouTube and see what is the strategy there and how it works. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I think because um, I was I've been on LinkedIn for about um, six, seven years now. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, you know, like I saw that there was the option for video instead of pictures. And then I really wanted to connect with people and tell them, you know, hey, this is what I did. I want this business during COVID. Or, you know, I'm like, I want to, I was so excited and I wanted to share with people. And I think through video, you can pass that information through. And it's, just, it's the energy, you know, yeah. it's the energy as well. And, and I think I take advantage of that. So. I believe, um, you know, it's of course, it's not everybody that, you know, has, you know, the ability to be doing videos every day, right and left, no worries. But I also think you can train yourself, um, you know, like uh, you, you've seen videos me with, you know, my sister's dog, you know, <laughs> it's like, hey, I'm here walking, but I had this idea and hey, you know, it is what it is. There is no, you know, exceptional production. There yeah. is no oh my gosh, what am I going to say, you know? And even, um, I think, you know, one of the greatest things is because you're also, you know, giving like yesterday, the day before I posted a video and I was like, hey, you know, shout out to uh, this guest that was on my podcast. You guys should check it out. So, you know, it's like, it's about connecting with, with folks. And that's the way that I find it easier for me to do, uh, you know, with my connections and, and people. Uh, but you can write an article, you can um, write a post, you know, it doesn't need to have pictures, you know, yeah. you can leave comments. And actually, the one way that I got to you mm -hmm. um, through LinkedIn, and I was like, oh, okay, well, this gentleman looks like he thinks he's the Michael Jordan of <laughs> hospitality. <laughs> I and she stop. was right. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't stop clicking on your YouTube videos. And I'm like laughing. It's hilarious. It's awesome. It's inter entertainment. And it's true. You know, like the hotels do's and don'ts. It's obvious yeah. for us that we are in the industry for so long. But, you know, there is definitely that piece where you know, you have to do what makes you comfortable doing and, you know, how confident you're doing. So, um, you know, that's also another tip that I have for people. And don't be shy yeah. to reach out to your connections like I did with you yeah. first because I was like, hello, you know, how are you? Would you like to be a guest on my podcast? And next thing you know, you know, we, we I think we recorded back in September. Yeah, yeah, man, it's been that long. Yeah. Right. Amazing. Amazing. Now, a lot of people, a lot of things that confuse most people, especially when it comes to LinkedIn, is um, their posting and how to get their posts uh, a lot of likes and more traction. And, and, uh, and, and uh, you know, how does that work as far as getting your expanding the reach on your post so more, more people can see it? What are some of the things that you do? Um, honestly, one of the things that I do and has worked for me, um, I post it in the morning. So some days I prepare the post the day before. So I just, you know, leave on draft and then I share the next day, mm -hmm. you know, um, cause people are looking at in the morning. Other times, um, when I don't do that, I'll just post one every time I have time from work. Um, uh, but also, to make sure really you connect with people in your industry, you know, and there is groups on LinkedIn that you can uh, connect with, you know, like I'm from Brazil, as you know, mm -hmm. um, and just like connect with hotels in hoteliers in Brazil, you know, even though I'm not there in person, um, but you know, I can still connect and share my experiences here because hotels are the same everywhere in the world where you go. Um, of course, you know, especially through COVID, all of the challenges, you know, we pretty much experienced the same yeah. across the globe. And, you know, join those groups. And, you know, another 
um, thing that I started and I took a break doing it was writing the articles on LinkedIn because I saw that my posts and my videos were more um, successful than my articles. Oh, nice. So nice. I was like, okay, well, you know, let me try just to do the posts on a daily basis instead of writing an article once a month. So amazing, amazing. Now, as far as uh, some things that confuse people is, um, is the hashtags. Like they don't know which hashtags they need to, to apply. They don't know how many they need to apply. I think my, my limit, uh, my minimum is like 100 hashtags. <laughs> so like explain how, how that works and, and what's the ideal number and, and how, how do they implement that? Honestly, the hashtags, um, I believe the less is more. Mm -hmm. So max five. X5, okay. Hashtags, and really, you know, the hashtag you can use is like, what is your post is about? You know, like, uh, of course, if I'm posting something about podcast, you know, I'll do a hashtag, hey, podcast leadership talks, right? Or actually, I created my own Wilkin Asimento hashtag as well. Nice. So to make it easier for me to go back and look <laughs> at my you know, old posts. It's a good move. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, you know, it's, it's just, uh, also, I don't know the particulars of the algorithm that, mm -hmm. you know, LinkedIn use uh, and so forth. But, you know, I think also what it can work for me might not work for you. But what has, um, you know, in terms of being success successful on LinkedIn is also, you know, when you reach out to somebody and, you know, like I, the other day, we have, you uh, we had, uh, I had two podcasts with two different leaders in hospitality, female leaders in hospitality. And then today I was like, oh, why I haven't created a post thanking them, Yeah. right? And I'm like, oh, let me do that today. So, you know, on my phone, of course, right? I'm a millennial, I'm on my phone all the time. So I was like, yeah, that's a good idea. I'm gonna move on with that idea for the next podcast, you nice. know? As a matter of fact, we need to, to get a new one done, right? Yep, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, for sure, for sure. You, but what, what, there's those people, um, like me, you know, uh, I think a lot of people, you know, they, they, they follow me because I have a different hairdo every day. <laughs> <laughs> and they're gonna, they wanna see what I'm gonna do with my hair today. Uh, <laughs> But what about those people that they're just not comfortable, you know, taking pictures and doing video? Is there anything that you recommend for them? Should they stick with the articles? Should they just do something like a voiceover or? You know, I like the idea of voiceover, you know, your profile picture, for example, or either write your post. You don't have to have a picture or a video, right? It's all about the content, what you're writing about, uh, something that you are an expert and also I think you know like for me interviewing people right mm -hmm. like yeah. today we didn't none of these like there was no training there was no questions there was right. we are natural you know we're just talking and we are sharing our ideas so if you like what you see if you think if you agree with an idea that you know somebody else posts go ahead and comment and share your, your, your thoughts about it, you know? And it's funny because also on LinkedIn, some people don't leave a like, don't leave a comment, but you know yeah. that they saw because you as only your personal profile, you see the number of views. So, you know, it's, it's, it's funny because it really, that's what it matters to me, Absolutely. you know? And that's how you see like I talk to people every day on Zoom and they're like, oh, are you still in Brazil? I was like, ah, you were watching all of my videos <laughs> while I was traveling back home. I was like, no, I'm here now. And you know, I'm still using some of the pictures that I you know, took in Brazil, but it was <laughs> quite a, I have a, quite a file on my phone, you know, for it, those she's days. She's out of so. space, she's on the cloud now. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I tell you, I tell you, but you know, uh, I, I'm, I'm. Thank you for coming on. I, you know, LinkedIn is, uh, is not the easiest platform. I'm, I'm really not quite as fond 
of them when it comes to like long videos because I think there's like a the upload max that you you can only upload so much. I'm like YouTube, I can upload like five gigs and it doesn't matter. So uh, that's those are some of the hiccups that I have with the LinkedIn LinkedIn on the video side of things. But uh, is there any recommendations that you have for Yeah, Max? so LinkedIn, I like to do max of what, one minute. Okay. Yeah. But other than that, no. And my videos are like 30 seconds, 40 seconds. Mm -hmm. So when I see that it's like a minute, I'm like, no, this is long. <laughs> ah, so you got to trim it on down. Yeah, because, you know, you, you got to remind yourself that people are just like scrolling, scrolling through their phone. And... What you need to say needs to be fast and quick. Okay. You know, so they are like, honestly, for me, videos that are more than 15 seconds, I'm like, okay, you lost me already. I'm doing something else. Yeah. You know, so you have to keep that in mind. How is your audience, right? Mm -hmm. Taking a look and on that video that you, you're going to put, you're going to post. Um, is the same thing for the podcast, you know, so if you're, you know, on my page, you know that I have highlights of yeah. snips, right, of uh, the interview with people, mm -hmm. the most important parts, because through my statistic, my analytics from the podcast, people are not listening to it completely. That's right. So they That's just right. want to get the message, what it's out there, and, you know, you have to be quick. Um, so that's my recommendation on that topic. Yeah, I, I think even for my videos, I get like, uh, they look at it for about 30% of the video, but depending on the size, and then they're, they're, they're on to the next thing. So, you know, it, I, I, I wish things were a little different, but it is what it is. Like everybody has a busy life. So there's exactly nothing they can do about that one. So what do you recommend for businesses? Like just a couple of quick tips. Well, actually, you know, I think that uh, it's an excellent question because people do they they are looking at what are the employees of that company saying about working for X Y Z, right? So that's a top secret, right? Like people, organizations, they have to have a presence on LinkedIn. And not just to post jobs, but, you know, what are they doing that is innovative? You know, what are they doing that is uh, impacting the so uh, society where they live? Or what is what is their business, right? Because you can have, like, a nice, interesting name and cool logo. But if, I don't, if I'm not in tech, how am I going to know that your company is in tech? If you don't share videos and yeah. if you don't highlight... The people that work for your organization how i'm gonna know if you are you are inclusive and diverse if i don't see people like me working for your company so it's basically it, it's it's a definitely a, a bigger scope you know because you're showcasing your business and it's not just hey you know here's another website that we have to work for like bigger organizations they have you know marketing people yeah digital marketing media managers, you know, handling the platform here on LinkedIn and also other uh, social platforms. Very good, very good. Well, listen, how can everyone get in contact with you? Well, can I submit, you can find me on LinkedIn. Um, <laughs> and that's the most awesome, fun way to connect with me because I will respond. Um, don't spam me, but... <laughs> 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 but also you can listen to the podcast um i am on instagram and facebook but that's personal um for my family only <laughs> tell them more about your podcast how can i how can i follow you in your podcast yeah the leadership talks podcast we are on spotify and um you know you can listen to it um through also the channels that i share on linkedin um, so it's the Leadership Talks podcast by Will Canasmento. All right. And make sure you leave in the comments who had the better hairdo today. I, I worked really hard on this. I, got, I, I, I worked really hard on this. This took a long time. <laughs> At least five minutes. But I, <laughs> I'm like, you're, you're so funny. <laughs> 
thank you so much, Bruce, for having me. I truly appreciate uh, the time and the opportunity to meet with you. And let's get that podcast rolling so, you know, we get a, like a follow-up. Absolutely, absolutely. And you know who it is. Thank you for tuning in for another episode. And you know what to do. You got to do this. And then you got to do a little of this down there. All right. And we'll be talking to you soon.